What's up guys? Pablo from Style Systems. I want to share something that hit me up on my meditation today. And even as I'm making this video, is stop waiting on the outcome. Stop, stop waiting on people's, other people's opinions. Stop waiting on being perceived as, as something good on the outside. You have to stop waiting for all that bullshit. I do these videos, for example, not, not waiting on you guys to, to like me or to share me. And that's the same thing when, when, uh, with, with your image. Stop waiting people's approval. Fucking hate it. I hate seeing that. I hate seeing people waiting for the outcome. If you go and try to seduce a woman waiting for the outcome, like I hope she she accepts she accepts me. If you go make a sale waiting for the outcome, I hope this motherfucker gives me his money or her money. Oh, I really do hope so. Then you're fucking yourself up. You're fucking your image and your mind, your inner image, because then you're not doing it for yourself. Then you're doing it for others. You're doing it for others, and that is wrong. You should never do things for others, A, but not, not because you're a bad man. It's because you're doing it for yourself. First and foremost, you're doing it, you're working on your image for yourself. You are working on becoming a better version of yourself for yourself. Because the more, the more you work on you and the better you are the more confident you are the more self-esteem you have the more beautiful you are the more you have to offer to others god damn it and i see people doing the other way around they got it backwards they try to give shit when they don't have nothing to offer it's like trying to give you a hand and i don't have an arm hey let me help you let me help you giving you a hand and i don't have a fucking arm hey let me first work on myself let me first do me to then actually give you everything that I have. But I cannot be offering you shit that I don't have within. So stop waiting on the outcome. Stop waiting on people to look at you and, oh, you know, you look very good, Pablo. You know, I like your style. What kind of shit is that? I don't wait on the outcome of it. This motherfucker has been passing again and again and again. This fucking motorcycle piece of shit. I don't wait on the outcome of, oh, I hope this video is the, is the best one that I do. And I hope people really understand, you know, I really hope that people get what I'm saying. I really hope that, that the video, you know, it's all good. Fuck that, man. I do it. Why? Because I have a, have a higher purpose. Because everything that I'm doing in my life and with style systems is because I have a higher purpose. It's because it is my fucking mission to s express this. It's the same thing with your goddamn image. Express yourself. A style is the, the pinnacle of self-expression. It is how you point at yourself and how you express it to the world. And you need that. And the world needs people to express themselves more with their inner true in image, their inner true self. Not by the bullshit outside. Not by, oh, well, you know, I need to express uh, like this influencer is doing it because that's perceived as something good. No. No. If you do it from the inside and you're really expressing yourself because you want to, because you need to do it, that is the true power of image. Instead of waiting on people to approve you, instead of waiting on the outcome. Can you imagine me trying to make these videos, waiting on the outcome of you accepting it? I'm going to do it whether you accept it or not. And that gives me more power and that gives me the upper hand. But I want you to do the same goddamn thing. Instead of being all bowing down, you know, I see people, instead of taking pride of their image of themselves, they're like trying to blend in, trying to not stand out, trying to be like, you know, oh yeah, like sheep. Yeah, whatever they say, yeah, God this, Allah said that, yeah. Fuck that shit, man. What about your mentality? What about your image? Not the image of Armani suits, not the image of GQ, not the image of blah, blah, blah. What about you? What you're all about. That is way better, way stronger than trying to get something, you know, trying to... 
lean onto something because you think that that is going to give you something. That is waiting on the outcome. That is thinking that if I, it's the same thing that I've been saying all over again. If I buy the Armani suit, then I'm waiting on the outcome for others to perceive me as someone with money, valuable, pretty, handsome, blah, 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 stylish. And no, if I present myself in the best way possible, and if, if I buy myself an Armani suit, I'm doing it for myself because I enjoy the fabric, I enjoy the quality, I enjoy the way I look at the way I look because I love myself. I do not do it for you guys. I do it for myself and that is way better. So stop waiting on the outcome. Because every time you wait on the outcome, you fuck yourself up, you fuck your confidence and people see that. People see the neediness inside of you. People see like, ah, this motherfucker is full of shit. I'm not gonna buy anything from this motherfucker. He's, he's, try he's trying to get me, you know? Fuck that. I'm not trying to get nothing. And you should be the same way. Don't go outside and present yourself, look, looking yourself like pretty to try, to try to make people understand that you are pretty. Fuck them. If they see it, good. If they don't see it, good. Because a compliment and a, 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 a hate, you know, a hater, it's the same goddamn thing. It's the same coin. It's two sides of the same fucking coin. So a compliment will not create me or, or bring me up or a compliment will not <sighs> make me and uh, a hate comment or a, a negative comment will not destroy me you see what I just said you really understand what I just said because this is very fucking powerful a compliment will not bring me up a compliment will not create me or make me better and a negative comment will not destroy me either because I am me all the time that's why you have to know your essence. You hear me saying it all the goddamn time because it is the truth. So if somebody comes to you and says, damn, you look very good. Placido, what's up, Placido? I see you. Hey, what's up? You look phenomenal. Good. I know. Thank you. I have the confidence to acknowledge it and thank you. Classic communication. I acknowledge it. But that will not bring me up because I am not becoming the best version of myself for you to approve me, motherfuckers. I am who I am regardless of who you think I am. And then the hater comes. Ah, oh, fuck you, you Mexican wetbacks. You don't know nothing about life, blah, blah, blah. Fuck you. And I go and do my own shit still. I would not stay on the same thing, you know. Oh, but why? Why do you say that? No, you don't know me, blah, blah. Like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not going to acknowledge it. I'm just going to say fuck you and I will keep going. Because I'm doing this because I have a passion, because I have a calling, I have determination. What's your goddamn passion? What you're all about and how you're communicating that to the world if your passion is music then how are you presenting yourself to communicate that to the world and not for the world but for yourself because it is a passion because you're doing it for yourself because you love yourself so if you really have a passion then you understand what i'm fucking talking about you're doing it for yourself and people may come people may go you will still be okay i learned this from my mentor shout out to my mentor arash Sephardi Masar. he said these two shall pass. You have to think of it in that way. If something good happens, these two shall pass. If something bad happens, these two shall pass. Instead of waiting on the outcome, like, oh, it's going to be something negative. Then you're fucking yourself up already. Oh, it's not going to work out. <laughs> you're fucking yourself up already. Or you're waiting, like needy. Oh, you know, I want, I, I want these people. I, I want people to listen to me more. Yes, yes, I'm doing these uh, Facebook classes because I want them to listen to me. Fuck no, I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it and I will keep doing them as, as, uh, as I continue to enjoy them. The moment that I don't enjoy that, fuck it, I'm not going to do it anymore. So I do it for myself because it is my purpose. People need to fucking hear this. If somebody hears it in, hears this in um, Morocco uh, or Italy and they something inside of them w uh, makes them wake up, I did my job. That's my purpose. Good. If not, good. I will keep doing it. As long as I exist, I will keep doing it. Hope you get a better fucking understanding of what I'm talking about. Stop waiting on the outcome. And please, become the best version of yourself.